Yo, Ogon, hope you're having a great day. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record your vocals in layers in Studio One or how to punch in your vocals in Studio One. Now, I did get a comment on my YouTube channel asking me to make a video on how to record, how to punch in your vocals when you're recording a song. Although that was kind of focused on how to do it in FL Studio, I've decided to do it in Studio One simply because Studio One is just way better for recording your vocals. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's just the way it is. I'm just going to be 100% real with you. I've used FL Studio to record vocals. I've used Studio One to record vocals. Studio One knocks it out of the water every single time. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because You'll love it here. Now, let's get straight into this, shall we? This is pretty straightforward. Now, I am using my vocal recording template, vocal recording mixing template. It will probably be called the Spotify Ready Vocal Mixing Template for Studio One. I've already got my FL Studio One, <laughs> FL Studio One. I've already got my FL Studio version out and ready for you to grab if you want. And all you need to do is go to jcarterray.com forward slash vocal template and you'll see my catalog of mixing vocal mixing templates that you can grab and check out but the studio one version will be out soon when I've got time to just create it and put it out but this is very very easy to set this up I'm going to show you exactly how to do this and exactly how this works so in order to record in layers the first thing we want to do is press shift alt and R and what this does is it brings up our record menu if you don't want to use the shortcut you can go to view then go to record panel and that will bring up that menu as well and down here it by default it will be on replace but instead of replace we want to select takes two layers okay then instrument loop record that's you know up to you i don't really use instruments in studio one i like to just record vocals in here so that allows us to record our vocals in layers so what does this mean this means when we record something it's going to record it in one layer then when we record it again it's going to record it on the next layer and i'll show you this in action as you can see we've got a few layers already set up in my vocal mixing template you probably won't have this set up but as you actually create your recordings it will create these layers for you so let's record using the star button and we'll just record something really, really simple, like me just talking anyways, testing, testing. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I haven't sung in a long time, so I'm probably very, very iffy right about that. Very iffy on the vocals. Now let's stop that. And as you can see, it has recorded this in one layer. Now the top layer will be the layer that actually plays back. So the top layer right here is what actually plays back. These layers down here are our recording layers that we can select from. So let me show you that in action. Let's record another layer, shall we? First of all, let's hear this back real quick. I don't know if this is actually playing back within my recording software, so I'm gonna go check this and we'll be right back. Okay, so it wasn't recording <laughs> the audio, so you wouldn't have gotten the two examples that I showed you of the audio recording, but it's not super important. Now I can show you an example of it recording because obviously I've fixed the issue. So the first layer, Oh, the first part will be the second layer that we recorded down here. Then the second part will be the first layer that we recorded. So let me play this back for you so you can kind of see what's going on here. This is another layer. This is another layer. This is another layer. This is layer two. <laughs> one, two, one, two. I haven't sung in a long time, so I'm probably very, very iffy right about that. Very iffy on the vocals. Okay. Great stuff, okay? Obviously not great singing, not great lyrics, but <laughs> great stuff all together. So let me record one more layer and I'll show you something very, very interesting. So this is generally how you're gonna be recording in 
you know, punching in line by line. You record a line, then you'll stop, then you'll record another line, then you'll stop. But with this, what it also does is allows you to go through those different layers that you've recorded and pick the parts that you like the most so that you can create one composition up here. Okay, so let's record one more layer. This is another example because I'm showing you how to get this done very, very quickly, very, very easily. Bet you didn't expect this. Bet you didn't know this. Oh my God. Ooh, that was probably out of tune. Yeah, that was definitely out of tune. <laughs> so here we go. Now, because our new layer has gone over everything that we've gotten, like everything that we've recorded before, it's now superseded all the other layers. So the newest layer that you record will be the layer that goes on top. And in order to pick from the other layers, it's very, very easy. First of all, let's quickly, you know, brush through this. Because I'm showing you how to get this done. Let me hear what those two oh, sound this. like. Oh my God. Ooh, that was <laughs> probably out of tune. Jesus Christ, very, very out of tune. So <laughs> let's say we don't want that part. We can't really get rid of it because we don't have anything else to replace it. But in order to get like some of this in here, all we need to do is select it. Now you do need to make sure you're on the range tool, but here we can select this and that will actually send this part to the upper layer. So this will be played back. And then we can take some of this second layer down here and we can get that part played back. So let's play this back. You. This is another layer. This is layer two. <laughs> Easily, but you did an X2. I haven't sung in a long time, so I'm probably very, very iffy right about that. Very iffy on the vocals. That was probably. So now we've got a bunch of different layers compositioned into one main layer up here. We can also, you know, move this along so that we're getting more of this down here and we can move this that way or we can move this, you know, that way and that way and so forth and so forward. But basically, if you want to turn off snap, you can click this button over here, which will stop this snapping so that you can more finely tune exactly the audio segment that you want. And if you're recording line by line, all you need to do is press record. Record that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Record that line. And then you're done. Then you move on to the next line. But what I would do in order to record, or oh, I just pressed the wrong button in order to what's this? Ripple edit, we don't want that. In order to make sure that I'm recording in the right place is come down here, yeah, and select pre-roll. And what this does is it will play just a little bit before where you're planning to record. So if I wanna record here, or I wanna record here, I wanna record the next line right here, what it will do is it's gonna play like a little bit of the audio before, which will kind of let me know exactly where I am and give me enough time to get into the groove so that I can record the the part correctly now i don't know if you can change the amount of pre-roll you get please let me know in the comment section down below if you know that you can edit the pre-roll amount because that will actually be very very helpful because the pre-roll amount is quite low but it's enough for you to punch in those lines so let me give you an example like we're going to record from right here but it's going to play back a little bit of the vocals that we had before Line. very very iffy right about so it's recording right now recording right now recording right now yeah recording right now yeah I probably shouldn't go, ah, that was too much. So as you can see, it played like around from back here. And then when it got to around here, it stopped making noise. And then it started recording right here where I selected it to record. So that's how you punch in. Make sure you're using the pre-roll down here. Make sure you've turned on layers and whatnot so that you can select from these different layers. It's just gonna make your recording process so much easier. And then if you don't want anything from a layer, let's say you've recorded a bunch of layers for the same line, but you know, it's just not hitting the way you want it to hit, then all you need to do to get rid of one of the lines is select that layer or don't select that layer. <laughs> what did I just do there? I don't know what I just did, but some somehow everything just went up here. Basically, all you need to do is click this X button 
and that will get rid of that layer completely so you can clean up your vocal tracks let me let me listen back to this real quick so i'm unsure where that new recorder came in ah there we go let's go really record maybe it was this part so it's recording right now recording right now recording yeah right now yeah Right now. Yeah, I just totally forgot the positioning of it. So basically, as you can see, recording layers have that pre-roll on. This is how it's going to make it very, very easy for you to punch in those lines and record your song line by line like I personally do and a lot of the big artists do. And having these layers is going to make it very easy for you to pick lines that you've created before or li lines that you've recorded before and get that into your main line up here remember you can also get rid of these layers if you're not using them at all by clicking this x button over here and you can also move this up in the priority by clicking this or activate or deactivate the layer by clicking this but i don't really click that a lot so i'm not going to get deep into that but this should make it very very easy for you to record your songs in studio one this is pretty much what i do every single time i'm recording a song i set up the layers i've got the pre-roll on and we just get cracking and because you made it to the end of this video i do have a free gift for you i've got five of my best r&b trap beats that you can download for absolutely free so you can start making money from your music you can use these beats to upload your song to spotify and start making money from your music which is necessary if you want to become a musician full time just go to jcarterray.com forward slash free beats link is also down in the description with these five free beats you're going to get five of my basic licenses which usually cost 29.95 each that's over a hundred dollars in free licenses so definitely grab that asap before this goes away remember link is in the description now if you've got any other tutorials or any other videos you want me to make or any questions let me know in the comment section down below my question of the day is how do you record your songs do you write all the song out from the beginning or do you freestyle each line by line let me know in the comment section down below because i think that'll be very very interesting let me answer straight away i record line by line most of the time sometimes i'll write stuff but usually i'll write a little bit then i'll come to recording and then i'll write the rest as i'm recording because it just it's just better for me to record when i'm in the vibe or write when i'm in the vibe of recording and i can actually hear what things are sounding like and i can adapt on the fly so that's me basically i hope that gave you some insight but in the next video you're gonna learn more about music online business and online marketing and i'll see you there peace out